our climate and environment producer Tim Dinian is here and we have some of that lab grown salmon that we're going to try in just a moment. But Tim, uh, you visited the lab and I want you to tell us a little bit more about the salmon. I know you covered a lot in the story, but how did they get it to look like this. I mean, this looks like the stuff you would buy at the store. Doesn't look real. It, it does. Real. Yeah, you, you are looking at it is salmon tissue grown from uh, those cultures. But what they do is they use a plant based, they call it a scaffold, right? So if you think of a little mesh, maybe going three dimensionally, they weave it in with that. That allows them to shape it. So it's not grown you know, specifically into a piece. That's a little bit trickier science. Mm -hmm. So they do it with the plant-based mesh. That allows them also to adjust the flavor a little bit. And uh, they also, um, I think it's, let me get this right, beta carotene, I think is what gives it its salmon color. That gives it that mm -hmm. pinkish orange color. They're getting it from a natural ingredient called beta carotene. And so this smells exactly like lox too. So it does actually smell like salmon. Uh, we'll taste it in a moment. But what about how it's grown? I mean, they're not actually growing a full fish. Right, that, that is much trickier science. And it's, uh, but it started with a single fish. Right? I think it was back in 2018, they took a, a cell from a, from a Pacific salmon and they started a cell culture, which is like cells growing cells on forward. And that gives them the starter dough to keep, uh, to keep the process going. And they take those big tanks that we saw and they put ingredients in them. I think I saw amino acids, sugars, fats, stuff that makes salmon grow. And when it gets to a certain point, they, I think they turn the heat up a little bit and that that's the end of the process harvest it and they mix it in with that plant-based stuff sunflower seeds cano uh, cannoli algae so it, it's really a process to make it look and feel like it like it does okay so they just grow a chunk something like or that. a flat you know flat little uh, if you imagine cells going together and kind of yeah. coalescing as tissue okay uh, so some people have asked since the story aired is it vegan or vegetarian that really depends on your point of view which I think is kind of fun you know you are eating real meat so or real fish so if you're a you know, strict vegan that might be a might be a deal breaker for you but if your reason for being a vegan say is to save the oceans from overfishing or you know kind of uh, take pressure off the planet then it really becomes I, I would argue kind of more of a philosophical decision mm -hmm. right you know that's so interesting right um, so I want to ask about this because there is some opposition to these types of labs, whether it's meat or seafood. Can you tell us about people who are opposed to it? There, there have been a couple, and this is really even in the last few months. There are a couple of states, uh, most of them Republican med, led, excuse me, that have uh, started the process of banning it, and they're they're calling it fake meat, and they come in a couple of iterations you have like uh, kind of cattle country I think that's Montana and, and Nebraska uh, other places are you know heavily ag and they're just they just don't like the idea of something being grown in a lab competing potentially with uh, you know with local product okay I know this is gonna be served at a restaurant <laughs> this week at a sushi restaurant in San Francisco yeah. so let's go ahead and it? try it is well first it? I want to show you the consistency because I was really curious we've about been waiting this. for her to do this um, so I want to kind of pull it apart so you can see the consistency of it because I cut it to make these little crackers. And, okay, so pretty much similar yeah. to what you would buy at the store. Um, and here you go, Tim, I'll let you grab one of these. Yeah, yeah the texture's great, isn't it? Yeah, the texture is perfect. And um, it's less greasy, though. Yeah. I would say that. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take a bite. I mean, and we built a little cracker with cream cheese. <laughs> There's some pickled onion and some, uh, a little bit of dill a as well. little dill on top. Okay. I mean, it tastes just like the real thing. I, when people ask me, excuse me, I'm taught not to talk with my mouth full, mm -hmm. but I will. It, I, I think the best thing about it is, is it tastes like salmon. It does. Texture, everything. How does that salmon smell to it? I mean, well, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, to be honest with you. Yeah, pretty remarkable. Okay, Tim, thank you for doing the story and sharing <laughs> with us. Bon appetit. <laughs>